<clears throat> I remember seeing that in the fucking news and shit. Yeah, we, uh, we, um, me and dad and, uh, Cotton and about, I don't know, eight others. We went back in after him, boys. And at the time, I just, I was just there. And I told him, I said, I don't give a fuck. I'm going in. I got in trouble. I got kicked off the property. Dad about lost his job because I went in there. But I certified first state CPR. I was allowed to. Dad about lost his job. They didn't know it at the time. But we went back in there and Jesus Christ, man. That's a scene I'll never, ever, ever forget. Hit a, the, um, I forgot what, I forgot what I was saying. Hamster fell off the wheel. Yup, he done fucking broke his leg. <laughs> the, um, oh my God, what the fuck am I trying to say? The pillar, that's what, that's what it is. The pillars in the mines collapse. And the force from the roof collapsed them down onto them pillars, the pressure. Boys, it Snap them like found. fucking toothpicks. Dude. You can hear them popping and cracking outside the mines. We already knew that five for sure were in there still. The rest of them was all out. Because I was just sitting at the front. Because me and dad, dad worked in the, um, dad was working in the garage at the time. And he would have been in there if he hadn't had to come out to get, to go outside and rebuild a motor for a scoop. And, uh, we went in there, son, the dust. Man, I'm telling you, it was crazy. It was like a big plume of, like a big cloud. That's the best thing I could say. Big ass, thick, heavy cloud just rolled out this thing, son. And, uh, oh, yeah, it's we, fucking cold, guy. Yeah, well, it wasn't actually coal dust. It was it was the lime, like the lime from the rock. Mm. The, the coal wasn't, where it collapsed at, the seam wasn't there. The seam was on the back side where they were at. And they were resecuring the roof, you know, for the roof boat or roof boat machine to resecure the roof. And it popped. And when it popped, he just didn't, you know, because I popped and go on because they're going through rock and steel, you know what I mean? He didn't think nothing of it. He's done it for years. And, uh, that the, the, just a. That was it. That's what we heard outside was a. And. But anyway, we went in there and we found the first one. He wasn't maybe a hundred yards from the, probably the length of a football field in him. And you get that part and it's just a wall. Rock. And it wasn't not only big rocks, it was the powderized and small. You know, it just is it it nasty. Anyway, we dug him out and he was still standing. He had the security curtain. The dust is the dust curtain awesome, still on his hand. Him standing upright. Yeah, it's fuck me. It's dried. That's how fast. Boom. I said, "Yep." So I turned my happy ass around, went back outside, and showed them, showed the EMTs and stuff where they were at, their direction, and told them we found that one. And Dad was still back there digging out and stuff, and they left. Yeah, there's probably, I can guarantee you right now, there's probably equipment still in there that they can't get to. To this day, because it's so bad, top of it, it fell so hard at the top of the mountain, the peak of the mountain dropped 14 foot. I'd say they hit just a pocket somewhere in there that they didn't know about, like a mini cave or something that, you know, like bears and shit go in and broke it. I would, I would okay, say hit, that's what hidden happened. Hidden caves? I, I've seen a movie like this before. It was called The Descent. Oh, yeah, The Descent. Well, you know how they go into that one and it just breaks off and it's there? Yeah. That's, that's sort of how... It, I mean, they don't literally like break off. It's just like when you're in there, it just branches out, you know, different ways or whatever. Because I, yeah. I used to go... Well, do, you, do, you remember the, do you remember the creatures in that? <laughs> yeah, fuck that. I don't, was them creatures or were they people? People creatures. Um. Yes. I don't know. I watched this one movie, or not movie, this video on YouTube. 
where they analyze the movie. Yeah. And they would they they came to agreement that it would had have been some people at one time trying to take shelter there. Right. For what they don't know, but it created a family of them. How you gonna watch it? Mm -hmm. On what? My TV? Do not fuck on my TV. You're on your TV. I'm on my fucking TV. Fuck You're it. fucking no. on a TV? Giving it Wait, fuck a TV? No. You're fucking Just wait till tomorrow. Well, I mean, he's on it. He said he was what? on it. So I immediately pictured him, like, sitting on top of the TV, fucking one leg on either side of it, just fucking grinding away. Violet. Well, we can. I need another TV. Well, you but he's ain't active, though. Zach, do you know if there's a cable, or if it even work, where... So my headset, my Turtle Beaches are the micro USB. Is there a cable that would do that to the headphone jack mm -hmm. so I could plug it into my controller? I don't think so. You're the techie guy, that's why I asked you. <laughs> there might be something that exists. I don't know that it would. I wonder what to do. If it would work. <laughs> Are you still here? Micro USB to three <laughs> millimeter jack adapter. Uh, I guess. Yeah, Amazon's got them. Oh. Um, because that's one of those things that you might get with phones nowadays. In order to plug your headphones into your phone. Yeah, like iPhones dongles that they use. Well, it would have to be a cord, though, so, I mean, like, it would have to come, like, off the headset, so that way I can go through the doorway and yeah. connect to the oh. controller. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Is there a question? Who's got some mini Hershey's that smells like coffee? Why does it smell like coffee? That's one of those things I, I assume Whoa. that you can buy that type of cord. But that doesn't necessarily it'll mean, mean it'll, it'll work. work yeah, because that. that's that's I think supposed to be just a charging port is all that I think that's supposed to be. I mean it would make perfect sense to be able to have a cordless headset to also be able to have a cord. Yeah. You know, what happens if that charging port decided it wouldn't want to work no more? I'd probably, I'd probably end up at, well, no, because a, a studio-style headset wouldn't work either. Because it wouldn't connect to the Xbox. Jesus. This fucking town and their goddamn fireworks. <laughs> yeah, I don't get that. Why are they always setting up fireworks? I don't know, dude. I wish I had an answer for you. It's back, he's in. Got rid of the van. No, what are you driving? Nothing? Oh, boo. Torise. Dad wanted it, so we traded Dad. He took over the payments. Is that cool? Okay. Water. Why would you want a mini I think he's wanting to do it so he wouldn't have to buy a truck. That makes sense. He just. get it and. Lay the seats down and... Right, and just... Okay. Uh, I don't understand, but that's why I buy SUVs.
so. We did that. The SUVs are a little cooler. I don't know. Yeah, I wish we were to fall cool these days. Oh, well. The only way that I'm gonna have a van is if it's like. 18 van style van. <laughs> not like. Not, not nothing new. Yeah. I seen one of those uh, new Wagoneers today. I think it's fucking huge. Looks like an oversized said. fucking Jeep. It is. <laughs> no, that's not made by Jeep. Yeah. Jeep Wagoneer, fool. Ah, oh, that's why it's familiar sound. <laughs> Damn, I forgot about that shit. <laughs> I saw my one, bad, my bad. Someone had one at a uh, daycare a couple weeks ago, and where they were parked, like their front tire was all the way up against the like sidewalk curb, mm. and the wheels were the road. pretty much. Oh yeah, the ass was way in the road. <laughs> the, the wheels were like pretty much at the line. Yeah, they're huge. <coughs> This one was a snow white one. It's sharp as shit though, but I don't know about Are you running around Nike? Oh uh, I'll keep to my top. I mean, it gives me major like, easier to work on. Bobby's dad's uh suburban vibes. With one of those extra long fucking suburbans. It's just, uh, it's suburban is the long one, and then, uh, if you go GMC side, the Yukon XL. Oh boy, what a I get what you're saying. More car accident, food I feel like Bobby's Three dad's people was dead. longer than that. No. Um, one got ejected and like ran over. Four rows or something. <laughs> that was sucking balls. No, it's three. The third row is actually uh, an actual seat, though. It's not like so. The third row in my truck, my Tahoe. I, I have no idea how anybody would sit, a kid would have to sit there <laughs> because there is the bottom of the seat and the floor is like fucking two, three inches. I could somewhat comfortably sit in the Kelly Rides third. <laughs> when I got the truck and I finally got back to the back end of the third row, mm -hmm. I, was, I was taking it out is what I was doing. I realized that there was no dip down for the feet. I'm like, who the fuck's going <laughs> to sit back here? Your fucking knees will be in your chest. <laughs> <laughs> um, Like last month, we were at the Kia dealership bringing the Kelly ride in for an oil change and they had the new Carnival there, which is Kia's new fucking um, minivan. So we're looking at it because they it's just like the Telluride. They very rarely actually have them in stock. And the third row is bucket seats. See, that would be cool. And everything in the that vehicle is bucket seats. And, and not like only storage that, in the floor and shit. Right. And um so the second row is it like it looks like a bench seat, but it's three bench looking buckets, and that middle bucket can go from second to third row. Yeah. Dodge has a minivan like that too. Fucking crazy. Oh, wow, well, I guess it's Chrysler. Talk, motherfuckers. Talking. Yelling at TikTokers. These are great. Besides, if she came down, she had 1200 kids. 
And I'm not in the mood to fucking deal with them anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ashley? Well, I go, you want to drink on that? You can watch Disney Plus on your phone anytime you want to. Now. Me too. I'm gonna watch me some Hocus Pocus tonight when I go to bed. Really? Nope. Yeah, the new one. I'm not. There you go. Hey. Never even fucking watched the first one. Like, I've seen parts of it. Really? I've seen it. Good to see you. Tommy said when he goes to bed tonight, he's gonna watch Hocus Pocus too. I don't know what's wrong with these girls around here. Damn pokey poke shit. Did you get the, did you get the uh, kitchen towel set too? Um, what? The kitchen towel set of pokey pokey too? No. Spoons and shit, ladles. They actually have that in there. I ain't gonna lie, man. They're pretty damn cool looking. Thank you shit. kindly. Now shut up. Come on, keep me up now. Biatch. What's Dallas's last name, huh? Cowboy. Uh -huh. Howard. Rhonda's old man. Blevins. Blevins, I am. That sounds familiar. Nuggets. No. 
I have one more. I'm kind of relieved there are so many nice wow. people here. I wish all my friends could see this place. Don't drink all them. Do it. Who went out of town? No, won't. What you go out of town with? These nuts. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Got her. When you get roached, just fuck a punk ass on here. No, she just had one. Go ahead and start with me tonight, and I'll promise y'all, fucking break you in half. On for the Facebook Live, folks. Yep, that's my kids I'm talking to, because I don't give a fuck. Don't raise them like a bitch. Mama didn't raise no punk. Oh, it's YouTube tonight. Oh, YouTube, fuck YouTube, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, this man. Oh, man, so yeah. that means... What an amazing I day. I'm myself. <laughs> Could be. Maybe I just a figment am. of your imagination. <laughs> but, um... I forgot what I was going to say. Okay. Happen way oh boy. Oh more boy. often than not here lately, though. Hmm. Which reminds me, where's Jackie? With Kelso. <laughs> Jack, yeah, I can't control the weather.
ass whoop on some whores on right quick. Yeah. My stand. Tell quick my 2.5 kicks in. Resurgence Rebirth. Oh, uh -huh. Dude, it's been forever. I probably don't even remember how to play it, to be honest with you. Yeah, okay. Hey, I got that car last night. That, uh, what was it called? Yeah. It's not yeah. electric. I thought it was electric, but it's not electric. It's a pretty sweet little whip. It's not super fast. But it's it's pretty nice, man. Whip. <clears throat> Alright, finish the clip shit. Marvelous. How many damn times is my car gonna restart? <clears throat> Some things have never changed. But I can't tell you, I did like the MW2 multiplayer. It was alright. Not enough for me to go buy it, but it was alright. I'm going to. That's a fact. Not like. Okay, but I'm gonna buy it. Undecided. I know that I won't be playing no fucking Warzone shit. Howdy! Thank you. Some hey, a free pack. Been a long time since I got one of those. Been at least two months for me. Been a damn year and a half for me or some shit. I don't know what to Amputator, that's a kick ass calling card. A baby with wings. Yep. Definitely using that one. Draw five five six. Oh, we unlocked these when we played that. Uh, when we played. Um, yup. The beta. Yup. Cause there's the Warzone stories, pest control, and then track meta, the eagle child, swap seat, snap. And it's got like a dog tag on the upper right and it says Modern Warfare Graw 556 with a crown. Hmm. Were you using the Graw in. Uh. 94? Hmm. Why would it be pushing the. Oh my god, they got this. What in the hell is going on here? I guess it's a Halloween thing right now. Um, this guy's got a big head, like a helmet type thing. It's a cat. Mm -hmm. It's blue with pink eyes or red eyes or purple. It's some animation. And there's another one. It's got like a. Oh, you're talking about Hazel. The, um, it's called the Umbrella Umbrella Academy Hazel. Oh, that's from. And it's got I know this, what that is. Oh my god, this is so retarded. This is this is so dumb. Oh, I mean, look what game you're playing, guy. Well, I mean, I can I can see this shit with fucking 
important. Uh, but... All dude has got money, all their money out of it, man. You know that. Yo. <gasps> what? There's people that will buy it. Oh, the doodly? I'm gonna regret eating these pork rinds with hot sauce. Probably gonna regret eating this. Mm -hmm. Whoa, way too much. Holy fuck. This might be a little spice. Why so spicy? It was a little warm. Oh, what the shit. It's Cholulo, so I mean, it's super hot. Didn't have any Valentina, so I got the Cholula. I like Cholula. Like so this, this quest, I have to go and collect these like fragments of this gem thing. The different fragments will only appear at specific time and places. <laughs> Fucking dumb. Did you know in Red Dead, there's UFOs that you can see if you get a certain place in time? <laughs> I think I heard that. Yeah, there's a uh, dawn fragment, a noon fragment, a dusk fragment. Great. Yeah, it would really suck. Surprise. The game's time was built in the lifetime. That means you'd have to get on there at fucking noon. Yes. To, you know, dusk, dawn. That, that's why I'm saying it sucks. Oh, it is? <laughs> yeah. Next week, I should be able to get on during the day anyway. You know what this kid told me earlier? That pancakes were the same thing as waffles. What the fuck? Did you tell him, nope. Waffles are better than pancakes. Hold on. Hold on. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, waffles are better than pancakes. Hear him? Maybe it, I don't. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm definitely coming through the TV. All right, try it now. Waffles are better than pancakes. 
Now see, for some reason, you are not coming through my TV. <laughs> what the fuck? I just did that three times. Looks like an oop so, over here. Waffles Sorry, man. are indeed better than Waffles pancakes. are better than pancakes. No, they're not. Ow. Uh, just so I know, okay, I've got even. some new goods at the store. I mean, yes. Uh... No, because putting it in a waffle maker makes it all crispy. Yeah, mm. fucking burn down the kitchen too while I'm at it. Oh, she pretty much told me to burn a pancake. But then I'm gorgeous all the time. <laughs> Offers are better than pancakes, dingling. Uh. Rise and shine, everyone! <laughs> wow, am I happy to see you? Ooh, thanks. <laughs> Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Morning, is that morning? That's what Goofy always says. Ninety-eight K Blazer. Ninety-eight K Blazer. Yeah, hang on, to you. I forgot what it's called. A1... K150. Oh, GMC. K150. Huh, <laughs> says the 98. What's going on? There's no way here. What's up? There's no way it's a 98. K150 Blazer. Uh. Uh, the latest they went is like 94. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, you know what? They did have Tahoe shit. I wonder if they called them Blazers. Two doors. Is that one two door? I don't know. Let's get some tap 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 on name? that screen. How about it? Hmm? Is that a dude's name? What? Call of Duty. Where, where did this come Thank from? Thank you. Oh, Facebook. um... I don't have Facebook anymore. Uh, my uh, friend on my game I play on my phone, he was talking about buying a 98K150. It says it, uh, 98 DMC K150. The pedometer's been changed, the nation has been changed. And he was wondering what the blue book price would be for it with zero rust and clean title. I was like, is it the run? He's like, yeah. Well, what's the problem? That it it was a theft recovery, and then it doesn't have a clean title. Yeah, I was supposed to say. Uh, I said, uh, as soon as it's a, as soon as it's a theft recovery and the police get involved, <clears throat> which means the state gets involved, and the title gets put as a for the Canadians. Uh, I don't know how that would well, work in Canada. Well, anyway, the way it works here mm -hmm. is they have to process that through the state, and then the state ends up giving a salvage rebuilt type. Yeah. Here. That's what they got here, too. Or a theft recovery something, and then they make the title red here. Solo. The, title, the title's never been different colors here. They've always been just like the normal fucking document look. Um, it's hard to explain. Like so the titles, blue. right? The titles are the same colors of like the birth certificates are like the same. The right. fucking, uh, well, here if it's red. Shit. It's either theft or a drug impound. 
Green is flood. Uh. Blue is rebuilt. And black is clean. Oh, well, there's gonna be a lot of blood used vehicles for cheap at dealerships come the next month. I watched this Florida. video oh. where this guy's McLaren P1. Mm -hmm. It's like a $1.3 million car. Get pushed through his garage door and float down the street. <laughs> it was bad. Cletus said uh, them got hit pretty hard too. You got banged. Uh, huh? You got. I seen this video where it says you got banned for life. Banned for life? What? I'm not sure what it was though. Anyway, like that was his video last night. Um, the they had a, like an outside canopy but it, or imagine like a pole barn that doesn't have the walls it just got the roof they had one of those outside and they had a few vehicles stored under that fucking uh, one of the ocean race wheels burnout cars way. got smashed in the flood i mean that hurricane from, from, from the hurricane yeah and i there was i guess there was a few other vehicles that got damage too no Nothing like, you know, they're big cars or nothing. We got uh, the cool hurricane clouds coming in. We're supposed to have some rain off of it, but what else? It looks different. There's a guy in. Damn it, what the hell is that final name in Florida? Anyway, guy in Florida. He owns, well, still owns. Uh, Elvis's pink Cadillac that he bought for his mom. Mm. Yeah, he restored it. I don't know, maybe like Playing some a handful of years ago, like Disney five, between Dream five and ten Lake years ago, Valley. he restored it completely. Um, the barn came down on top of it, Ooh. fucking crushed the roof and shit. Like, it's there. It's probably salvageable, but. You're not gonna find too many fucking roofs for like a 1960 fucking Cadillac Coupe de Ville. No. Xbox. The amount of work that would have to go into it would be astronomical. But then again, it's Elvis's fucking car. I mean, I'm sure some. I'm sure the guy's gonna put the money in fixing it. That's for, uh... The picture? No, the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! Mom, look up Frank Sinatra's Cadillac. Uh -huh. What is this? Right here. It just reminds me of the episode of fucking Seinfeld, fucking Xbox. Mm -hmm. They thought Kramer had John Voight's car. <laughs> He had the fucking li license plate, ass man. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Couldn't get away with shit like that on TV now. No. Never get away with it. See you later. I was never a big fan of that show. I think it was because Jerry Seinfeld's voice fucking irritated me. <laughs> kind of like Gilbert Godfrey. After I finished rewatching um, that 70s show, I started Seinfeld. I made it like halfway through the first season. Where I'm just like, yeah, I don't want to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> and I know it wasn't, uh, I don't like watching older things typically, but I know it wasn't that because I 
just finished watching fucking Cheers right before that. Everybody knows your name. Oh, it still holds up as a good show. Eh. Alright. I made it like three episodes into Frasier and got blown, though. Oh, Frasier. I've seen every episode. I know I saw a Dead lot of the, the yeah, yeah. first couple seasons. Nothing beats my favorite old TV show, though. Fucking MASH. Love yeah, MASH. I, I would never sit down and try to watch fucking binge MASH. I have, and I will again. Oh, fucking. What's his nuts is pretty funny. Alan L. Aldo. That's his name. <coughs> He's Hawkeye, the main character. Uh, I know you at least have to know who that is. I mean, yeah, I, know. I knew who you were talking about. Oh, okay. Well, you weren't fucking agreeing, guy. Sorry, I was. Like, I'm, f I'm fishing. I kept fucking explaining my. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, what the hell's right, sir? Oh, uh, that was in the beta. So. Oh my god! Fast as fuck, boy. Yeah, and you're also a little bit more immune to bullets. Like, it takes a little bit more to take you down. But yeah, you're you're fast, and you can shoot while sprinting that fast too, I believe. I do know from Ash that it wasn't a chicken. Wasn't a what? It wasn't a chicken. What are you talking about? Who kills my damn It's from like the last episode, I think. He's telling his sad story about um this woman smothering a chicken, but it wasn't. Oh a no, chicken. it was a kid. Yeah. So the show is based seen, on a movie. I've seen that. And then uh, the movie had. Donald Sutherland and God damn it. Can't remember now. Oh uh oh god damn it. it. he's the old man in the Oceans movie, like Oceans Eleven, Ocean Slow. He's the old guy with the big glasses. You know who I'm talking about? So? Fucking the lenses on them glasses are like fucking bottom of coke bottles, man. <laughs> Elliot Gould. That's his name. It's uh, Donald Rock Southern and Elliot Gould. But in the movie, so you know the MASH opening music is. Na, 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 na. Yep. You know that? Well, the movie version is uh, suicide is painless uh, <laughs> it's part of it, it it's it, like there's actual lyrics to that song uh -huh. but they were not gonna put that on TV it was about going through war and how war is hell the casualties are like there's a there's a speech that Alan Ida does. And I'm sure you've seen it in like TikToks and shit. But uh I think that's that's pretty much what the movie was about. What's up everyone? How you doing? How the fuck are you doing? They're in the same war and everything. Korea war. 
Hey, if you're not going to check this TV show out, I highly suggest at least checking the movie out, because the movie is obviously way more graphic and everything. Remember Full Metal Jacket? You remember watching that? I remember watching that at your house. You remember how that one was like, army movie, and then all of a sudden, fucking shit got fucked up. <laughs> That's yep. kind of how this goes. The cool thing about Full Metal Jacket is it's basically two movies. Oh? It's basically like two movies. I mean, there's... The boot camp movie, which in it itself could be a movie, and then there's the war part movie. It's just like a sequel. You could watch either Who half made? of that movie and just. It could be. I see what you're it saying. Could be its own fucking. I I, I concur. <laughs> um, who made that? Was it Stanley Kubrick? Uh, it would make sense if it was. I feel like I can think of Kubrick's name on the logo. Yeah. Written and directed. Uh, Speaking of him, did you ever read Dr. Sleep? No. Or listen to Dr. Sleep? The movie that's supposed to, like, be the sequel to The Shining from Stanley Kubrick uh, with Ian McGregor and shit, it kind of closely resembles the book. Remember the time that I was using your Tulsa library card to fucking... Yeah. Um, that was one of the ones that I listened to. So it kind of it, it was kind of close. They had to tweak it because of the way Stanley Kubrick made the movie. But it... It brings in aspects from Stephen King's actual novel, too. That's why he was a big fan of it. But it was, it was pretty good. Um, so, towards the end of the movie, there's a flashback scene. Well, actually, he, you and McGregor goes back to the hotel. And, you know, fucking wintertime and shit. And then uh, there's, like, flashback scenes. So there's... People that are playing a young him and Shelley Duvall and Jack Nicholson. But they do really good jobs. I was pretty pretty stunned how they did it visually, you know, through the movie. Because in your brain you can automatically just figure you know, imagine it. Best fucking CGI ever. <laughs> I just read today that um Bruce Willis signed over the rights to use his deep fake going forward. So they can make movies without him, like fucking yeah. diehards and shit? Yeah. Not necessarily diehards, just whatever. Like, it still has to go through... Oh, you know goddamn well it's gonna be diehards. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm has sure. To be. That's what made him famous. I mean, not really, but <laughs> that helped. <laughs> uh. Have you seen all the diehards? There's the first one with the so. hotel. The second one is takes place. Has there been and... one after Justin Long? No. Pretty sure I've seen them all. Unless there's another one. 
You know what? There might be. There might be another one right after Justin Long. Anyway. If you had to choose a favorite one, which one would you choose? The first one. No way, Jose. Die Hard with a Vengeance. Fucking Samuel Jackson. That one beats the first one out of the water big time. I'm pretty sure I binged them, so by the time I got around to it, I was just... Done. Actually, I remember watching Die Hard with a Vengeance at your house for one of your birthday parties. Because there was oh. that movie, Speed 2. Uh, there was, there was like four of them. I will maybe? I don't rem I don't remember. I do remember that one of the first times I went to the movie theater was on my on or around my birthday to see fucking it's wonderful you are how you're having sore time. eyes. That was your first time at a movie theater? One of my first times. My first time that I can actually remember was Batman Returns. So that would have been 1992, 1993. Whenever Mars Attacks comes out or came out, that was like I 96. Was definitely, probably too young to be seeing that movie in the theater. I, uh, I guess it would have been like 95, because I remember watching it on like HBO in 96. So. Be like Aladdin in theater. I've seen that in movie theater too. <coughs> I don't remember if it was when Aladdin was... or something else, but one of those Disney movies was, I think, the first, like the first time I could remember. Look at was bad, man. I'm pretty sure I got sick or something. That's I remember seeing Aladdin too. Like, so when I was real young, I was—I'm the oldest out of the grandchildren. So my grandma would always take me for weekends, some like almost every weekend, and we would go to fucking movie theaters, and fucking like Santa's Village, shit like that. Yeah, so, dude, I've seen so many movies at such a young age. The only time I ever went with non movies was fucking, um, Star Wars. I think I remember you going to that. Was it the one with Jar Jar Binks? Like, that one where they brought him in? What was that like? I'm pretty sure... I forgot the name of it. We've seen... Because I think it it was becoming like a, a thing for her to bring me to. Because I'm pretty sure she brought me to the first one, and then because I remember her bringing me to the second one, we went to the one in Wilmington when it was still open. Still is. Is it? Yes, yeah, sir. A little fucking two screen theater. They've remodeled since then. Uh, it's still two screens, but it's like way bigger seating. I think you've seen the first one in Morris. And the second one. I think the HSV Malou, that big box truck. No, it's a. I have one. I have two, actually. It's a, uh, El Camino of sorts. Oh, like that Ford, whatever it is. Another race for it? Suck balls. These big trucks just don't like turns at 150 mile an hour.
Oh, and I just fucking remembered about going to see fucking what aliens at the drive-in with me no um it was stan and me we were at broads for the weekend and he lived right next to the fucking drive through in joliet or drive-in in joliet he had a fucking broad lived up on the hillside of joliet Oh yeah, he lived in those, you know those little like one room apartments, houses, right next Studio. to the drive-in? Well it's like, if you're driving towards oh, Joliet. Oh, yeah, 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 I know what you're Yeah, he lived there. One of those little fucking shacks. But he snuck us in, we... He had the fucking wagon, and we hid underneath some blankets <laughs> in the back of the wagon. I haven't seen some aliens. One of it was an alien. Movie. How was it that '70s show top shit right there? <laughs> Kill some fed. Pretty much. So. Uh we, me, my mom, my brother, my grandma, we were going to the, the same movie, the same driving movie theater. But at the time, my grandma had my grandpa's Ford F-150. And it had a cat, uh, one of them bed cap things, you know, like your dad had on his car. Um, but on the inside, it was like carpeted. And it had like boxes that went over the wheel wells. But we were small enough that we could fit inside them boxes and close the lids and just like <laughs> hug the wheel well. And so we so we we pull up in there and my mom looks into the back to point out that we, there was two more in the back and we were gone. <laughs> So they, she's so they pay for just the two of them. They pull in, and as soon as because I was peeking, as soon as I seen that we were past the the gate thing, I fucking flung the things open and we sat. We were sitting back down. And I, was, I was like, "So did you did you have to pay for us?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> they didn't believe that we could fit in there. I mean, he made them fairly big, so like. He used to keep tools in there, and then uh, the carpeted shit was, he was a woodworker. So, you know, like, he was making fancy shit. <clears throat> now, why does the game tell me you're not on, Wayne, but Xbox tells me that you are on fucking Forza? Probably where I'm in this championship. Oh, maybe. But before I finish this, I'm gonna go to whatever thing here and look this car before I even get this word wasting my time or not. Wow, am I Which happy one? to Thank see you? Remember, I believe... I'm in the Malu right now, but you're in a race. I'm in the auction house. Oh, Have yeah. Have a good evening. Have a nice evening. Oh. I ain't gonna waste my time when I can buy 13,000. I have the Ford version of that. I don't even lock it. I've only drove it once. It's a drag car. It's this just is a... essentially a Australian El Camino because this is Holden's made by GM. HSV is a Holden. 
uh, company, I guess. Hmm. It wouldn't be like a Debian Pontiac type shit. Like the DTOs, maybe? Yeah, because they do kind of favor yeah. the DTO in the front. Yeah. Actually, you can make the one holding. No, that's what it was. Oh, wow. These nuts. That's HSV. Because if you look at the, if you go into there and just look at the holdings, they're all older vehicles. The HSV is holding, but it's holding or something. It's for vehicle. I don't remember. Some dumb shit. But the other one, he has a 14 HSV Gen F GTS, is what it's called. That one uh, is a Pontiac G8. I got that one too. Mine is uh, maxed out, so I must have done something with it. <laughs> Let's see, is it real drive still? Indeed it is. <laughs> Next to the Hall of Fame leaderboard. Oh, I'm trying to figure out why my name ain't on there, but Alex is, Broach, Dylan, uh, Mike. Wait, you say you show names on yours? Yeah. I don't show any names on mine. Hmm. They're just black. Yeah, that's the, the that's the fucking Malou. What you're in? Huh? That's the Ford Pursuit. <laughs> the uh, FPV Limited Edition Pursuit PE. That's what this one is. Same damn thing. Come back. Oh, yeah, you're back. Oh, yeah, that is not the right one. I just yeah. saw, it, saw it from the side profile. They look identical other than it's got a Ford Fusion front end. Yeah, the Maloo has got the same front end that's on my car. Pontiac G8. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just don't have the LS, though. The fuck is that? A BMW? Let me take a picture of uh, uh, uh. That's the O3 Plus or whatever it was. Link. Auto mode. Auto mode. It's kind of looks between us. Link and Co. Link and Company. Three, yeah. O3 Plus 2021. Kinda looks like a mix between an Audi slash Kia slash Mustang, Mustang slash. slash. <laughs> <laughs> the Audi looks see it. fucking sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna go out and get that new Kia Mustang. I mean, that's literally what this thing looks like. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Look at the, check out the twin pops on it. Well, the quad pops. There's two in each side. Uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, there is. That's cool. This is what I was... That's... Ugh, shit. Turn back around. Let me see the front end again. I'm in a different view. Whoa, fella. Stop. Yeah, it's like... It's weird. <laughs> So, there's lights on the hood, right? Or right? Mm-hmm. 
But then there's like lights underneath that that makes it look like a Mustang. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's it's a weird ass car. I growled at you. Yeah, well, I ain't got no growl, man. <laughs> All right, well, it was a monster type of one. It's pretty vicious. Look, I ain't hold my brake, and I'm stuck in. Mine doesn't, mine don't want to do that. It did in like mid-range first gear. Wait, which one is that one you got? HSV? HSV Gen hey, F here. GTS. Thank you so much. Yeah, I got that. I think it's just the stock motor upgraded. S1868. And of course, I had to leave it real dry. It'll definitely do some burn. how nice you are to everyone. Oh, yeah. We should drag race these things. <laughs> it's gonna it. be slow as fuck. We should take some test launches first. <laughs> Those down pretty good. Not I guess mine. when you're not going very fast. Mine's all over hell. I'm going full fucking 7500 RPM. <clears throat> I spun out through four gears. I mean, yes, it's slow, but honestly, it's still not that bad. <laughs> Takeoff is kind of boosh. I can't dig it. I got an amazing idea. Can I hit two hundred? Yep, right at the ramp. I hit two hundred. Oh, where'd the hell to go? Let's rewind that damage. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm so happy you're here. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. When in the morning? Mm mm. No. He no. No, he can wait till in the morning to get some. Nimby's ass? That's your fault. Uh, well, I don't know about all that, but. Oh.
Oh, you your graphics just showed up. Huh? The graphics on your car just showed up. I the Grim Reaper. Oh, huh. I forgot I had graphics on it. It didn't even show up for me until just now. Yeah, that I one mean, little... I just told you your graphics just showed up. I know, I had a look because I, <laughs> I couldn't remember if I put them on there because I've only drove this car like twice. I figure we, we at least get window to window, you know, make it look like you know, we're actually talking. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, this left been driving. Yep. Ah, hey, man. You got big time, man? You got him numb. I'm trying to see how much there. space is in me. Holy shit, there is a... Hi. Uh, I don't think a person could walk between our cars sideways. Nope. If I back up, I'm pretty sure I mirror the clack. <laughs> oh, what? They put. <laughs> trying to figure out how to go into drone mode, but I can't. I can't oh, find yeah. it. I don't see it anywhere. Oh, here it is. Oh. No. Come back and see me soon. Hi. Can you see it? Yeah. No. Nope. That's yeah. stupid. I'm like directly on your hood. <laughs> hey, thanks. I don't know how far I can go with this thing. Hi. Drag racing right now. Let's talk again soon, okay? Doing a challenger up here. Well, he was. How you supposed to explore New Mexico when you can't get up? Sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> Turbo, hell yeah! Did you see my message, Zach, about the Braille skateboards from the Walmart website? The what? <clears throat> There's a company out of California. Um, <clears throat> it's ran by a professional skateboarder, and his, his name is well, he's old now, so he's just kind of retired. Aaron Cairo, like he was popular when Tony Hawk was popular. I remember. Um, he started a skateboard company called Braille. And it started out as teaching kids to learn how to skateboard. And then it turned into a skate team. I and then it turned into here. selling skateboard parts. Well now it's they're they're so popular now that they can sell their shit. Through, uh, Walmart like they have a deal through Walmart and they're fifty dollars oh, yeah. if you go to their website but if you go to Walmart they're like I think they're like thirteen dollars or thirteen thirty dollars like between fifteen and thirty bucks <laughs> like but it's um so I saw oh, lots of reviews on them obviously including Braille's um that the board's breakable you know like a Walmart board would be huh. yep but it's not cheap like the Walmart board, like yeah. like what you would typically get from Walmart. Um, it pops like a regular skateboard. It rides like a regular skateboard. There's there's yeah. this one guy that, he, again, he's a professional skateboarder, and like, I really appreciate he wanted it. he wanted the skateboard to be a shitty skateboard because it came from Walmart, and he said that he actually likes the skateboard like if if you was to change the wheels out on it he said that then he would fucking skate it every day hmm. and it, it's capable as fuck like I, i'm watching these dudes fucking do board slides with it fucking pop in triple kick flips and shit triple heel flips 
360 flips, 360 hard flips. I'm like, holy shit. From a fucking Walmart skateboard. <laughs> the one guy that reviewed it, he was like, even if you, you don't want to use the actual board, the trucks and the bearings that come in it, not necessarily wheels. Wheels are good for beginners because they're softer, so you don't feel the bumps yeah. as much and shit like that. So they're, it's the skateboard's a little bouncier because of the wheels. But if you had wheels, like say you had a board, but it needed trucks and you know bearings, you just literally swap the shit over. That's sweet. Yeah, so if, you, like I said, if you start getting gear for the boys, I'd highly recommend it because it's cheap as fuck. Hi. And it ain't like they're gonna break it, you know, they're yeah. little. As long as you know, you know, make sure that it doesn't get left outside or something. Yeah, I'd... I would not even keep it someplace that's humid or can get humid, like a trunk or something. I, I wouldn't do that. Be in this room. Right. <laughs> fucking Zach's gonna be on stream, fucking <laughs> popping collies and shit. No, I'm right up against the wall. I don't really got room for that in here. Cause you're all your fucking box hoard and shit. Yep. <clears throat> It's funny that you had said that too because like Goodbye. just last night yeah. I watched a video on it and then today you mentioned about fucking possibly getting the boys some gear. I definitely need a lot of fucking pads though. For sure. Knee pads, elbow pads, the wrist oh, hey. guards, and a helmet, for sure. And then as they get older, you know, the pads can start coming off. I, I don't think, I mean, you could get them shin pads, like the soccer shin guard things, you know? But I really doubt they're going to get shinners because I don't see them trying fucking kick flips and 360 flips and shit like that for quite some time. That'd be funny as fuck. Two year old <laughs> jump around. Well, kick flips and... so on Braille's YouTube there, they did invite this one kid out. The first time yeah. that he was there, he was four years old and he was like, he could ollie, but he could, uh, he couldn't really do tricks, but he would huh? fucking skate the whole goddamn fucking warehouse. <laughs> and then they brought him back being nine, I think. Maybe eight. I don't remember. And, uh, now he fucking, he, like, he's doing all these other moves that all these other guys <laughs> are doing. Like, even big jumps, like, he went down a five stair. Uh, grinded down a five stair. He went down a, what's called a three blocks. So one block wow. up is I have to remember three foot, two hey, foot, thanks. two and a half, somewhere between two and a half and three foot. So there's three of those. So it's technically you know like nine feet drop. Good fucking doing it, no problem. So it's possible, especially if Zach starts him now. They they could and they keep with it. They could get good, like good, good. Mm -hmm. It's easier for kids to learn than a f than fat teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I could still do it. Like it's like riding a bike. Once you figure out evening. how to do the tricks you don't forget it's just you gotta it's that trial and error until you finally can figure it out but that's what braille's cool about so zach when you buy the the boards if you buy them boards the uh 
part of the labeling that's on the skateboard, there's a barcode thing, and if you scan it, you get, like, a couple of the free tutorials on learning how to skateboard. That way, like, when the time comes, you can coach them through fucking tricks. Yeah. I've watched most of their videos. Um. That's real loud. Were the only ones in the uh, Never mind. No, we weren't. There was a Hummer earlier over by the drag strip lanes, I guess, doing fucking donuts. And it's pretty cool stuff. Like, I, I, I wish that shit existed back when I was learning how to skateboard. Because I relied on other people that knew how to skateboard Once you can navigate teach by the stars, me how to do them things, and kids aren't great teachers. <laughs> if Elsa's here, then I'm here. I remember here. fucking <clears throat> Kenny all the time just telling me, bro, I just, I just do it. I don't, I don't, I don't know what you want me to tell you. I'm like, well, how do you, like, how do you move your foot? How do, you, like. <clears throat> Once I got an ollie down, I was like, all right, well, now how do I do a kickflip? A kickflip whooped my ass for like a year before I finally got nailed one. And that was a good feeling. I don't think I ever really got a true it's ollie. And now that I'm older and I watched all them older videos, I'm like, man, this shit makes so much more sense. Like... <laughs> How how did I not think of that when I was a kid? Like to do an ollie to, I knew you had to drag your foot up, but I didn't realize what they were talking about when they would say drag your foot up. So I'm here. I am trying to fucking yank my foot to <laughs> to bounce my knee into my fucking face, <clears throat> and that's not what I needed to do. Yep. <laughs> A couple years back, I fucking did an ollie on my skateboard in my garage wearing work boots. So I know I still got it. <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably not so great on the balance anymore, though. There's this one video I saw. This guy said that he weighed 320 some pounds and he was a skateboarder and that dude was fucking doing some badass tricks I'm like man if that guy can do it I can surely fucking do it and then you know I hurt my back stretching fuck <laughs> 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 yourself up on skateboard nope a stretch that's the craziest part, though. Like, <laughs> I do it all the time. Like every mo I used to do it every morning. Stre I, I wake up, I stretch, go to the bathroom. I can feel my other muscles being tight because I haven't stretched. Today was a bad one. I was hurting fucking soon as I got to work. I don't know if I just slept funky or what. Yeah, I was sitting at the Doctor dinner Clay. table with <laughs> Katie when I asked you what actually happened. And you typed that out and I'm like, oh, that that hurts. And she's like, what? And he's like, I, heard. I told her that you told me. She's like, oh, yeah, that that one, it's not that fun. Hurts. Yeah. Like it hurts on in the head too. <laughs> it, when when the sh when the stabbing happened, well, I mean, I haven't had that yet. And well, you know, not for a while since like last oh last Friday actually. But when that would hit, I would feel it almost. It was almost like a shock wave through my fucking back. And, like, I'd feel it get into my neck. And then, like, it almost felt like my neck needed to be cracked all the time. 
Yeah. It eventually did give me a headache. Today, though, I fucking... Like I said, I, I woke up hurt, and I don't know if I just slept funky or... Like the whole entire time, I was like, man, I wish I would brought one of them fucking patches with me. <laughs> <laughs> Those, they help, but the problem is, is the, the t particular brand I have... Fucking do not stick. The one that I got from the hospital, that one was like super duper sticky. Like when I peeled that one off, I had to go slow to not rip the fucking back <laughs> hair <Cookies> off. And all. <laughs> <laughs> the, these ones that I got from CVS, they're like, oh, uh, they're sticky ish. But if you move weird on them, they're gonna start sliding all over. I think... I know you can buy just Glidocaine in like, a fucking... tube. From like, Dollar General, or fucking CVS, Walgreens, shit like that. I think I'm just gonna get that and just apply it myself. That dude's name is Poopy Scoop. Yeah. Uh, look to the name to the right of the screen. Over by, like, the festival thing. This poopy scoop. I have no idea. I don't see shit. You don't see it on your screen? Mm -mm. Look see, the right? only name I see is LGC Lulu. <laughs> yeah, that's ABH right here. Oh, there's a guy to the right that says poopy scoop. <laughs> yeah, I don't see him. Oh. See him now? No. I see nobody. But them too. I'm gonna go park by him. Unless he's doing something stupid and I can see this guy fucking forever away. Yeah, he's not just right here. Alright, let me go into the thing. All right, go into the map, mm. and then just northwest from where we're at, there's that Costa Rosca, Costa Ro Rocosa street race. Mm. That, the that player dot right there, that's that's poopy scoop. I don't have no player dot. <laughs> oh, fuck. Literally, the only ones I have is, um... That's fucked up. It'll be to our left, <clears throat> toward the highway. Um, and... I got three on the highway, four on the highway. I think you got too much shit on your map, and you can't see it. It's just people. And, well, on the new races I have, but... I've got Nudy two oh nine, SRT Sergeant Sergeant mm -hmm. what? Slow grown. Uh, what the fuck was that? Laporta doo, -doo. doo, -doo. <laughs> Yeah, and you don't you That's don't it. see that other one? Poopy scoop. It's to the Still left of those. Yes, he can't <laughs> see it, but I can. Yeah, no, he's not. Um, oh, I see monkey feet. I'm gonna see Fifi on. or something. Where are you at, sir? He's, he's not. Oh. How about a wee yeah. bit of conversation? He is. He's just up the road now. Ooh, look! There's my fish Do you see? Thank you kindly. Stop it! George Taz Gaming. Nope, don't see him neither. Did you already? Um, you already? Oh, I see you over here. Huh? 
I'm right next to George Taz Gaming. He's in the pause menu. Oh, wait, what the heck? You're way away from me. Have a bye -bye evening. I literally spawned on you. I see him now. There's Poopy Scoop. You're about to pass Poopy Scoop. Oh yeah, I see George has game now. Oh shit. See? Poopy Scoop. Yeah. I had to come way over here just then. That's weird. He's in photo mode. You good over a woman? Twitching like a motherfucker. Twitching like him. Huh? Oh. talking tonight. You gonna start doing a burnout there, Wayne, or what? Hmm? You gonna start doing a burnout, or what? I can't do a burnout, neither. Keep it in first gear, hold the brake, and play with throttle until you can fucking hammer down and do straight up burnouts. I was going at one. Putting these crackers, what I need to <laughs> look how hot your brakes are getting. Why are your front brakes glowing? <laughs> I don't know. You just too. <laughs> Not on my screen. <laughs> You're the one. Just sitting there fucking doing burnout for like two minutes. All right, Wayne, we got to do something on here. They're just sitting around fucking off. That's why I do 99.9 percent .9 on here. <laughs> I used to be that way. Uh, I got I'm back up. Nine percent of my life. <laughs> Sit down. Get off there. Stop that. <laughs> yep. Ninety-nine point nine percent of my life of is me thinking to myself, "I hate this fucking job." <laughs> <clears throat> 
Come on, whose kids are they? Oh no, they're yours. You can't deny that shit. <laughs> Yeah, my brother Proud Peacock would be a pap on us if you're crazy or hell. That's here, I thought I was gonna be the first one out of the bunch to be a pap off first. <laughs> nope. Well, it still may happen. Yeah, it's just a matter of time. Hello. That'll be Chris. That's exactly who Dad and um ah. Thomas said. Thank you, kindly. Dad, Dad can't keep one long enough to do anything, and Abby, she's what, I don't know about her. That's why. I, that's why I said it's Chris. Greetings, Abby. Yeah, be another husband. like couple years. Um, him and Bonnie are gonna move Goodbye to uh, now. To -loo. Colorado. So they say. So they say. Mm -hmm. You want to do a C class fans and utility race? You get a Mosler, Mosler MT900S. I have one, but it's just something different to do. I love sound this little. What is this thing called? Link and Co. This sounds cool. I say it'll load. I feel that's what a fucking RX-7 on here should sound like, sort of. There really are any new races other than that? I can't get over how that Honda on here sounds when it cackles out. Da -da 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 -da. Oh god. Hickered up or down. It hurt my chest. Gifting back to hey there. Auto Magical. Mystery Rod. Let's see what I got fucking for vans and utilities. In class. Good boy. Volkswagen pickup truck. I've got an amazing idea for what we can do. That's oh, gonna be class C. Ah. Yeah, mine's a C580. Um, I'll tell you what the thing. It's gotta be <laughs> 600 max. Is it the sport utility heroes? No, fans and utility. Hooding mobile. Oh. oh, it's a S1. Right. Oh. oh, it's a <laughs> C600. Yep, that's the cap. Oh, no cap. No cap. cap. Just come see me. It's not busting, yo. For real, for real. <laughs> busting, busting. He's not even paying attention. <laughs> He's watching YouTube or something.
I can just enter the championship. You can pick it from there. Yeah, I got it. Uh, I know you got the same Volkswagen truck I got. I do, yes. But it's, um... It's really high-powered, and I don't want to go back through it. I don't know if it's going to bring both of us. It just says find a team. Let's try it. Yeah. It's registered. I don't think I have this car anyway. <clears throat> I know I do. I'm so happy you're here. Treat Safari. Oh, I got shit for the fucking lions and tigers and bears on my. Lars, we see it. Never <laughs> fear. Mm -hmm. Ram it. Why are you looking off the fucking edge over here? Backwards. What the hell's going on? Ooh, look at that. Man, you're right at that max, huh? Nope. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> Come with me if you want to leave. Holy God shit! Damn, what the fuck just happened there? I just got knocked off the bridge, that's what happened. Codes are fucking crazy. Dude, the wreckage back here is fucking insane. Just cars everywhere. Gorge! Look at all the great stuff I got! <laughs> oh, excuse me. You're not exposed. Doesn't surprise me. Couldn't get a haul past the piss. Pablo just ate that shit. Oh shit! That's a motherfucking bus.
Dude, these guys race dirty as fuck. These fucking computer people. They just pushed me into a fucking car. No, these are people people. No, the, the red team are computers. Oh. There's people on our team, yes, that's... There's a sharp-ass right-hand curve over here. I see it. Well, we got this one pretty much in the back. Good for me. Oh, damn, what happened? Uh, well, let's see. I've gone off of a bridge. I got pushed into a bus, pushed into a car, pushed into a truck. Oh, back there at the bridge when everybody was clusterfucked. And I missed a checkpoint. Not not now, but oh, back then, I, back back yeah, back back yonder I did. Yeah, back yonder. I thought I did at first, and then it counted apparently because I went through it. Oh, I was right there at the end. Oh, I didn't let you finish. No, no, but I still got it as a win. I like the little car. Hey! I got another Viper. Woo! Or the same one. Eat. I level up. Woohoo! I did all that on drift suspension too. <laughs> I think drift does pretty good. If it's, uh, if it's oh the right shit! We're, we're, this, we're ain't done. Oh, that's the championship. I'm the only one in a fucking VW pickup truck. <laughs> I thought it was funny too. Watch me throwing them cars, asshole. <laughs>
The mother fellas quit, didn't they? Yup. This one should be the last one because we'd win two or three. Oh, fuck. No, we still got two people with us. Good. You're here. We gotta move. This is very hard to do with drift suspension. Because all it wants to do is go sideways, and I'm trying to fight like hell to make it go straight. No. Okay. Slight little corners, though. Shit. Mm. I got let out of the throttle. Easy peasy. Thanks, kid. This is where I'm going to get past because we're on the fucking interstate. Thanks for coming to see me. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be doing fucking 160 miles an hour in a 1982 Volkswagen pickup truck. <clears throat> nope. Later. You are way ahead of me. That little fella's got the acceleration. Pop speed button so much. Sleep tonight? Nope. Try not. She's gonna have one of her fucking seizures and she's gonna grab you by the junk when it happens. Mm -hmm. Hey, oh, I'm on TV. Him. Hey, I'm on TV again. <laughs> hey. Hello. I don't know what's up with that bumper. Head. That's kind of stupid. Just find me later. I'll definitely be around. I just saw something was added to my garage, but I didn't pay attention to what it was. I'm assuming that fucking... Motor. What do you call it? Uh, did I just get the Audi TTRS for that? Oh no, 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 Street Safari, Mosler MT900S, yeah. The climb is accolade to get to... Oh, oh look at that. Upper HDR. I got the Lincoln Co. 03 this Plus. This is so great! I'm making a bunch of new friends! Oh, hey! Just find me later. Well, I kind of want that donker vert, vert, vort, whatever the fuck it is. I think we already have. No, I have I one. So. Oh, I got the catter. We need so many more points. Uh, Fifteen. Hey, look who's here! Me. Oh, that's all the fucking championship races. Street endurance on the move in Retro Street. I need ten points. I could get it. Kind of looks cool. Hi. I think I'll look and see if uh -huh. you can. Thanks. 
Let's, let's see if we can buy it first. This is yeah. hard to find. I bet I'm the first demigod you've met, right? Oh, yeah. Hey! You're welcome! Not too hard, it's 231,000. <coughs> Looks pretty damn cool, to be honest with you. If I buy it, I'll be broke as shit, but whatever. Well, I mean, you only need 10 more. <laughs> 